We're going to turn now to new research overnight that says some popular weight loss medications may have additional benefits for heart health that go beyond just weight loss. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Tara Narula, is here to break it down for us. And, Doc, tell us about this study. Good morning. Good morning. Well, previous research on patients who had cardiovascular disease and no diabetes who were overweight and obese showed that the drug semaglutide, otherwise known as Wagovi, reduced cardiovascular events by about 20%. But the question, Michael, was what is the cause of the cardiovascular benefit? Is it the reduction in weight? What happens if you're just overweight and lose weight? Will you see the same benefits as someone, as someone who is obese? And what if you only lose a little bit of weight? So researchers here really wanted to answer that question. So they did, they looked at a new analysis of the largest study, 17,000 patients who had heart disease, cardiovascular disease, no diabetes, overweight or obese. And they found that those who took the drug, it did not matter whether they started out overweight, mildly obese, or severely obese. The cardiovascular benefits were the same. That was wow. the first big finding. The second was that early weight loss in the first few months did not seem to predict in any way the cardiovascular benefits. The third major finding, shrinkage of your waist circumference or loss of that abdominal or belly fat really was a big driver of the cardiovascular benefits. We think that abdominal visceral belly fat is really the one that's potentially more harmful than fat elsewhere in the body. It may be pro-inflammatory, but it was only responsible for about a third of the benefit, which leads to the final finding, which is really the big one. Two thirds of the benefit of this drug, it seems, has nothing to do potentially with weight loss. And so what is it? It may be that it's affecting the health of the blood vessels, improving the lining of the blood vessels, affecting blood pressure and cholesterol, decreasing inflammation, and maybe just changing the nature of how the fat works in the body. And that's the part that's really exciting. Wow. That's yeah. pretty surprising, too. Yes. Yeah. Very surprising. And you're a cardiologist, <laughs> so how are you using this tool in treatment? Michael, I got to tell you, I mean, it is so nice to have something else in our arsenal to use. Cardiovascular disease, we cannot say it enough, is the leading cause of death. One American dies every 34 seconds. And so in our world of cardiology, we basically live to prevent. We live to reduce risk. And so to have something to offer patients is really empowering. I think that this is really going to change the narrative about these drugs. They are no longer going to be looked at as weight loss drugs or diabetes drugs. They are potentially going to be looked at as cardiac drugs. I had a patient yesterday, this is the perfect example. She was not overweight or obese. She had cardiovascular disease and she was afraid and she looked at me and she said, can I take a GLP, should I? The answer to date would have been no, but in the future, we may see these drugs used for cardiology, for prevention, for risk reduction in the setting of someone not being overweight or obese. That's, That's how important I think wow. we're gonna see this. That's really saying something. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thank you.